Hi, my name is Brian Tokoyoshi, and in this Lightboard, we'll be talking about Zero Trust Cloud Security. Now, if you're thinking about this from the standpoint of what type of people have access to your data, that you have to think about the sources of the data. One, you have applications that are in the data center. Two, you probably have applications in public cloud. You have applications that are in SaaS, and so forth and so forth. So when you think about the different technologies that are involved to control access, there are many different ways to provide access controls. In the traditional data centers, people had been using things such as VPNs or firewalls to gate who can access resources in the data center. But when you're thinking about this from the standpoint of what you're doing about public cloud, for instance, a lot of organizations are shifting away from the VPN and looking at software-defined perimeter so that users would be using a different technology to reach the public cloud, or they would be using some type of proxies, and that would gate their access to SaaS or inspect traffic to the internet. So many different types of technologies to control access and inspect traffic in some cases. And there are even other ways when you think about the modifications that people are actually doing to the application itself to control the authentication. The problem with this is that with so many different places that you have data, there's so many different technologies that are in place in order to control access, you really don't have a firm grip on who has access to a particular set of information. That's why you want to be thinking about how you can bring all of this together in a unified architecture. So instead of fragmenting your security policy across multiple different technologies, wouldn't it make much more sense to consolidate that into an architecture that implements the protection in one place? And that's what Prisma is based on. Prisma uses the principles of zero trust to make sure that you always know who is accessing the applications that you have, and you stay in control of data so that you know where your data is and where it's going. Now with Prisma, we act as the way so that users can connect to Prisma and get access to the different applications they, they need, but keep in mind that we maintain contextual information, including who the user is, what host they are using, what applications that they are accessing, all of this information, this contextual information is used to drive the policies that would allow them access to information in the applications of the data center or the public cloud or in SaaS applications. Now, you're probably wondering, how can we do this? We can use both the uh, model where we take a managed device, where we use an app that automatically connects to Prisma, as well as support the ability to use unmanaged devices and use BYOD devices to access the appropriate level of applications that those users should have as well. So that's Prisma in a nutshell, and being able to use this for zero trust in order to protect your data. In order to learn more about what we can do with Prisma, check out the rest of the videos in this Lightboard series. Thank you.